He knows a lot about the science stuff, Professor Dave explains. Let's take a look at a problem regarding Gibbs free energy. So this asks you to consider the following reaction at 300 Kelvin. And this is carbon monoxide gas plus half a mole of O2 gas yields carbon dioxide gas. Now, given that the standard entropy change is negative 0.094 kilojoules per mole Kelvin, and the standard Gibbs free energies of formation for CO2 and CO are negative 394.4 and negative 137.2 kilojoules per mole, respectively, calculate the standard change in enthalpy for the reaction. So we need to know something about this Gibbs free energy equation uh, that's going to be necessary to answer this question. So uh, check out my thermodynamics tutorial from my general chemistry playlist if you need some review and when you're ready give it a try. So we can calculate the standard Gibbs free energy change the same way we calculate the standard enthalpy change or standard entropy change. We just take our Gibbs free energies of formation and do products minus reactants. And so products, we have negative 394.4 for CO2, and then we subtract from that the reactants, and that's going to be negative 137.2 for CO and zero for O2. Again, doesn't matter if we're looking at delta G, delta H, delta S. Whenever we're talking about some uh, parameter regarding the formation for elements, it's always going to be zero. So we do the math and we get negative 257.2 kilojoules per mole. So that's our standard Gibbs free energy change for this reaction. Now, how do all of these values relate? We know that delta G equals delta H minus T delta S, where delta G is Gibbs free energy, change in Gibbs free energy, delta H is change in enthalpy, and delta S is change in entropy, and T is the temperature. So we actually have all of this information except for the delta H that we're looking for. We want delta H, that's the standard change in enthalpy. So let's go ahead and solve for delta H. All we have to do is add T delta S to both sides, and we get delta H equals delta G plus T delta S. Now we can plug in the values. Delta G we just calculated, that's negative 257.2 kilojoules per mole. Then the temperature we're given is 300 Kelvin. And then the delta S we are also given. It's negative 0.094 kilojoules per mole Kelvin. So we just do the arithmetic and we get negative 285.4 kilojoules per mole. So that's a little problem regarding Gibbs free energy. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. Support me on Patreon so I can keep making content. And as always, feel free to email me, Professor Dave Explains at gmail.com.